I, I think Fiona's kindergarten teacher described her best when she said she is just pure sunshine. My name's Fiona. I'm seven. Since I have a farm, I like to pet the animals and draw a lot. We have chickens, donkeys, cats, dogs, cows, sheep. I had a completely unremarkable pregnancy with Fiona. She was 10 pounds, eight ounces, with a full head of black hair. When she was born, her right arm was a little bit larger and her right hand was a little larger than her left. And so we sort of suspected something was wrong. When she was about two weeks old, her doctor referred us to orthopedics. They referred us to genetics. And we officially got a diagnosis of hemihyperplasia. There's a link between hemihyperplasia and abdominal cancers. They referred us for ultrasounds of her kidneys and her liver every three months. Her nine month scan showed that she had multiple lesions on both of her kidneys. So we were working then with Dr. Sutton and Dr. George. They were precancerous lesions called nephroblastomatosis, which is a precursor to Wilms tumor. A Wilms tumor is the most common childhood kidney cancer. She had chemo every three weeks for a full 52 weeks of treatment. She was so young when she started treatment that it seemed normal to her. And it just became routine that we would go to the hospital every week. Every time they'd see her on the schedule, when they'd call her back, say, oh, Fifi, Fifi's here. And she always looked forward to seeing the people. She almost looked forward to her appointments. The amount of energy and joy in that child does not fit into a single exam room. We need a bigger space for her because, because that's how full of life and, and joyful she is. Her hair fell out almost immediately. There was a lot of vomiting after every chemo. Having a child going through major medical issues, you know, you mourn those things in private and you cry and you sort of adjust your expectations and then you put on a brave face so that she will be brave in the face of all of those things because you don't want her to be afraid. I feel like that just staying calm and always having a smile on your face will make things better. Just before her second birthday, another lesion showed up on her right kidney. So they suspected that the lesion was a Wilms tumor. That first surgery, they got all of the tumor, and then eight weeks later, another mass showed up. And then 36 weeks of chemo the second time. They went back in and did surgery, and they removed another Wilms tumor. Six months later, another mass showed up. She went back on chemo for the third time. This July, she will have been in remission for three years. So she's officially declared cancer-free at two years post-treatment. But it still feels sort of scary to say that. You don't want to say cancer-free and then have to go back and start over. She's been transferred to the Survivor's Clinic, <laughs> yeah. which is great. That was an exciting milestone. And she's about to be eight. Consensus recommendations for how long you monitor somebody with hemihypertrophy and other associated overgrowth syndromes is that you monitor them through their eighth birthday with pictures. And so they are very much looking forward to that because the risk goes down significantly at that time. Just going in for regular scans. We prepare ourselves emotionally, <laughs> spiritually each time, and we'll continue to do so. You know, recurrence with each passing month and year is a smaller possibility. And so our hope just continues to grow. Thank you.